H plus a classic almond equals edgy almond. Hello everyone, I'm Yuri Castillo and on this new episode I'm going to show you the parameters and the guidelines that you have to follow when you do this now, the edgy almond. And I'm going to go straight in and say that I did not learn this now from anyone. I came up with the guidelines and the parameters on my own. So if you do want to call your now the edgy almond, please make sure that you follow these guidelines. When using the form, you always want to make sure that you fold it in half and close it on the tip so that you don't have any problems when placing the form in the finger. And the guidelines are very simple. If you want to do like a really nice good looking edgy almond, the length should always be one to one to the natural nail. So the same length that has your natural nail should be the same length of the extension. And now we're going to go ahead and divide this nail in three parts in your head or you can go ahead and use like a little pencil. And the high point, your balance point will be with the first part closest to the cuticle area. Now when applying the product, the first bead that I applied with product on the free edge was a little bit drier consistency and now on the cuticle area I'm using a downward motion with the finger and I'm applying the product a little more wet and at this point you want to be very careful that you are starting to create the edge on top and if you see it from the front it's gonna look like a little top roof of a house and when applying the product you also want to make sure that you are starting to create that shape only with the brush so leaving two flat sides one on the left one on the right so that you don't have to file too much with the electric file or by hand I do always recommend that if you do apply a lot of product go ahead and use the electric file because it will cut down a lot of time than just doing it by hand like how I am doing today on this um, shape that I did, I only used the hand file because I was very careful of applying um, not too much product, just enough so that I would achieve this shape. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that the actual edge on top of the almond nail that we are doing here is not completely defined from the cuticle to the tip, it's only defined from where the balance point starts. Finish your filing process like always. Finish to a high shine with the top coat and you'll be done. In the next video, I will show you guys how I did decoration. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really liking this shape. So I hope you guys do like it too. I hope you guys enjoy this video and actually learn something that was helpful to you. If you do, uh, give it a go and try this shape. I would absolutely love to see this now of yours. Um, you can post it on Instagram. Keep in mind that if your account isn't private on Instagram, whatever you post or hashtag, I won't be able to see it. And I've been thinking lately, okay, um, I just, just let everyone know that if you want me to see your work, just tell me to follow you and then I will absolutely follow you and see whatever you post so that, I mean, we are a community, I guess, like friends mostly because like we are into the same stuff so why not follow you so just let me know on instagram and i will absolutely follow you from now on So yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you guys today. I hope you guys like this new shape that I came up with. I will absolutely um, be seeing you guys soon in another video. So yeah, don't forget to stay connected with me on Snapchat, Facebook, or Instagram. It is very important for me to know what you guys are thinking about my videos about this new image so that I can continue on doing more tutorials for you guys. I will see you guys on the next video and like always, take care of your nails. Bye!